Welcome back. In this video, let us look at uh, again one more question and probably two questions. Okay. So, this is again from Cambridge International Exam, October November 2006 paper. No calculators are allowed. Okay. So, let's read the question. Anne, Brian, and Carol share the cost of a car. Anne pays two fifths of the cost, Brian pays one third and Carol pays the rest. What fraction does Carol pay? So, <clears throat> so Anne, let us write this, Anne is paying two-fifths of the cost and Brian is paying one-third and uh, so Carol is paying the rest. So let us add two-fifths plus one-third. So you, both of them can be written as 15. So this is how many 15? So I say, okay, the, you have to multiply the denominator with 3. So you have to also multiply the top number with 3. So this is 6 out of 15. Plus, to make this 15, you have to multiply with this with 5. So this also has to be multiplied with 5. So 5 over 15. So 2 fifths has become 6 fifteenths and 1 third has become 5 fifteenths. So this is nothing but 6 plus 5 over 15, which is 11 fifteenths. And Carol pays the rest. So the whole is 1. So Carol would be 1 take away 11 fifteenths. Now 1 you can write as 15 out of 15 take away one fifth, eleven fifteenths. So the answer is four fifteenth. So Carol pays four fifteenth. Okay. <clears throat> so what what are we saying now? Okay. Uh, let me drag this up a little. Okay. So <clears throat> Anne pays one thousand six hundred more than Brian. Okay. So you can say. And is paying two fifth, and this is three fifth. So Anne is paying one thousand six hundred more than Brian. So let us find the difference between Anne and Brian. So that is two fifth. Let me change color. That is two fifth minus one third, isn't it? Brian is one third. So the same logic. So that is six fifteenth take away. 5 15th. Okay, so that is 1 15th. So what they're saying is 1 15th is 1600. Okay, so 1 15th is equal to 1600. So if you want to find the whole, I'll go 1 15th time 15 is equal to 1600 because we are finding the whole which is 1. So I want to eliminate this 15, so I'm going to multiply with 15 on both sides. So this and this gets cancelled. So I can say x, sorry, 1, this 1 whole, uh, mathematically doesn't make sense. This 1, I'll not write equal. Okay, so let me write like this, just mathematically. 1 15th is, so the arrow does make sense. So if you write 1 is equal to, so, okay, so 115 they're saying is 1600. So 1 would be 15 times of this. So I want to multiply. Don't ca I can't use the calculator. So let me do without the calculator. Okay, so this is 16 times 15. This is what I want to do. So let me do it here. 16 times 10 is 160. And then 16 times 16 times 5 is same as okay let me show you here 16 times 5 is same as 8 times 10 okay which is um this is called the technique of doubling and halving I half this so I'll double this so that is 80. so this is 16 times 5 which is 80 so and 16 times 10 is 16 times 10 is 160. So this is 240. Okay, so it is 240, and then I have to put two zeros here. So this is two, 
24,000. Okay, the value of the car is 24,000. So, uh, uh, so let us check the answer. So, Carol, sorry, and paid and paid two fifths. So, let us check the answer. So, and is paying two fifths of 24,000. So, what is one fifth? So, this is same as 48,000 over 5. So, I'm going to double this. So, if you double this, this is 96,000 over, uh, am I right? Yeah, 96,000 over 10, which is N is paying. So, let me write here N is paying. 9,600. Uh, am I right? Yeah, yeah, 9,600. Okay, now how much did Brian pay? Is one third. Okay, so let me write Brian. Brian is one third of 24,000. That is pretty easy. So I know three goes in 24, so that is 8,000. Okay, so Brian is paying 8,000 and how much is Carol paying 415? Okay, so Carol is 415 of 24,000 which is, this is 48 and 96,000 over 15. So <coughs> 15, in 15, 3 goes, so this 3 goes in 15 5 times, so 3, so this is 3,000, 32,000 divided by 5, which is, I'm going to double this, so this is 6, uh, 64,000 divided by 10 which is 6,400, 6,400, so this is, let me draw that, this is Carol, so let me add this up, so this is 0, this is 0, 6 plus 4 is 10, remainder 1, 10, and uh, yeah, 24,000, so you got, you can confirm the answer, see you in the next video.